here as well, my lips will look like really like wide and big. <laughs> What's up guys welcome back right now i'm getting ready to go out to dinner and um, before i leave the house i have to finish my lips so i thought i would show you how i do my lips with like my very nudie brown colors but make them look a little bit more fuller than they already are i feel like my lips are pretty full <laughs> but sometimes i like to enhance the shape because as you can see when i'm looking in the um, camera screen now this top lip seems to always like kind of fade in and almost look a bit flat on my face. Whereas if I turn to the side, you can tell it's not flat, but I think it's just with the makeup, that's how it starts to look. So let me show you how I do this. First, I normally start out with a brown lip pencil. This one is by ColourPop and it is in the color CTRL, I don't know. Um, if that's the name of it, but we're gonna go for it. Really just anything brown is good, I feel like, for my skin tone. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start lining just this part of my lip, just this little like Cupid's bow area, and then I'll continue that down the sides in a second. So how I'm gonna start is I'm gonna take the brown pencil and line kind of like this top area here that's where I'm going to exaggerate just a tiny bit and then I'm going to take it down to here and follow my exact line um, I'm going to do this in the mirror and I'll show you exactly what it looks like when I'm finished so I'm just lining the top and I'm going over just a tiny bit but just over the little like pout kind of that I naturally have Actually like that. I'm not really, really going that far over, but you can. The bigger you want your lips to look, the more you should go over. And then here, I'm gonna bring it in because if I take it out here as well, my lips will look like really like wide and big. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep it on the line here and just exaggerate there like so um okay i'm gonna do the other side okay so there you can see kind of how i did the top lip now with the bottom, the way I do the bottom lip is I take it really dark in the inner corner here. And then I continue to follow the line. Keep following. Rogue literally always decides to come in every time I'm filming. Rogue. You don't need to your nails on the floor um okay so i take it dark in there gives a nice shape like that all right now that i've finished there i'm gonna take this and exaggerate a little bit under here and take it right back to the normal line. Stay on that side. Like so. Okay, now once I'm done with this, I'm gonna take this little brush and kind of smudge inward same with the bottom yeah. 
All right, once I've done that, then I take my finger and I kind of just buff that top out. So that it's a bit softer on the edge. You can also do this with a brush. I like doing it with my finger. Same there. You can already see it looks a bit more pouty. And also, I feel like this V sometimes is a little too deep, so I just take a little bit. You can kind of perfect it with like a brush like this. You're really just creating a contour on your lips. Okay, that's good. Like that. Next, I'm going to take this Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the color Lip Cheat. And I'm gonna rub that kind of in the inner. It's like the prettiest color to create this natural lip. Rogue, literally, you make the most noise ever. She sits there and goes and swallows her spit. Anyone else dog do that? All right, so now we've got like the perfect matte nude. And you can stay and leave it like this if this is how you like it. I think it's super gorgeous. Or I just bought this Saint Laurent by um, Zoe Kravitz, I think it's a collaboration, and it's color one, two, three, and I'm obsessed. Um, just take that kind of in the center there. It makes it less matte, but like the most perfect color. So then you can stop there and you can Clean up your edges. And you can like sit here and make it like as sharp and perfect as you want to. But since I'm just doing this quick video and I gotta go, I'm doing it super fast. So I feel like I'm showing you like three different options. So you can do that first one that I did, which was just the pen smudging and then the lip liner, the other lip pencil. Um, or then you can add something like this on top to make a little bit of a sheen, which I think is like so nice. Or you can add like a little gloss on top. This is Dose of Colors in um, Don't Be Chai. It's cute. And add just like a little bit of pop in the center. Rogue. And that like immediately gives you kind of like a glam, a glam lip. <laughs> Press it into the lip liner. And your lips just automatically look a little bit more plum. Um, so yeah, that is the plump look that I always do, especially for like night out occasions <laughs> like that. Um, but I think it's super pretty. And I do this with kind of any lip that I'm really doing. Like for example, if I was doing a little bit of a deeper lip, I would then do it like with something like this and then 
even add this on top. This is Pat McGrath Manhattan. Um, and it's super pretty. It's a little bit more deep and has like a cherry kind of, not cherry, like burgundy tint to it. This is a more matte matte, but super gorgeous. And I'm ready for my dinner date. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to, of course, like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.